Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new super truck in town. I'm talking about this, the all new 2023 Cadillac Escalade V series. What does that mean? Well, it has a very powerful supercharged V8 engine under the hood with nearly 700 horsepower. So in this video right here in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona, I wanna see exactly how it performs on the street. So I'm gonna show you launch control zero to 60. I'm gonna show you how it drives in the twisties, the good and the bad, but how much bad can there really be? I mean, this is a fully luxurious, really premium and quick SUV. Well, let's dig in. Let's take a look at the heart of this beast and GM performance enthusiasts. And actually, I think all enthusiasts have been waiting for this. A truck with a factory supercharged 6.2 liter truck V8 engine. The numbers are this, 682 horsepower and 653 pound-feet of torque. Well, there's another truck currently on sale, a pickup in this case, the Ram TRX, uh, with similar power numbers. This has about three pound-feet of torque more than the Ram TRX, and it has about 20 horsepower less. But still, it's a gem. Let me show you a little bit closer. This engine actually has more in common with the Performance CT5 V Blackwing sedan than with a truck. It does start out with a 6.2 liter V8, like I said. Then on top of it sits this Eaton twin screw supercharger that's intercooled. And it's 2.65 liters of volume of air per revolution, which is pretty large, almost the same size as the TRX blower. There are cooling elements on both sides and there are also cooling lines specifically for the intercooler system for the supercharger because of course you're pushing more air you're compressing it creating heat and here is the additional reservoir for the uh, supercharger but why did they choose this supercharger um, instead of a slightly smaller ct5v blackwing well it's because of some of the restrictions um, you can see here the air inlet that comes from here from the air filter and it has to make quite a sharp turn. So it's a little bit of a restriction. So in order to create more horsepower and torque, they decided to upsize the supercharger. You can see the pulley right here. And they also added cooling. So there's now three fans down here, not two. Um, and this engine sits actually a little, it's tucked closer to the firewall. There's a 10 speed automatic behind it. Um, and the 10 speed is largely the same as any other SUV and truck in the GM's lineup, um, except it's been tweaked a little bit. And the transfer case has also been tweaked a little bit to handle the extra power. And they say 80% of this torque is available at 2000 RPM. So this is a monster. And it also sounds tremendous, I think, uh, because it has equal length dual pipe that exits through the quads exhaust system. So now let's hear it. It's finally time to see exactly how quick this new Super SUV can actually be. So, I am in V mode. I'm gonna stomp on the brake pedal. I'm gonna stomp on the accelerator pedal. And then I'm gonna try to use the launch control mode to see what this puppy can do. I've got my Soul DL GPS enabled okay so the first one is 5.94 
Cadillac says 4.5 is possible. And so I don't know if I just, um, it didn't feel quiet as punchy. So I think I did something wrong. So let me try that again. I need to go, oh, that's what was wrong. My engine was not in the right mode. By the way, we've brought tflbids.com back from the dead. You can check it out. It's an enthusiast auction site where you can buy or sell your pickup trucks, SUVs, and off-roaders. We wanna focus it on four-wheel drives and trucks. We have a Ford Excursion up there for sale. We will have our older Escalade that we use in the Go Big video series. So please check it out using the link below in the description. Now this is oddly subtle. Right here in front of the gear selector on the center console, there's a little check mark. It's actually a V for V mode, which is Cadillac's performance modes. Let me explain. By the way, you could see this in front of me, which is a 38 inch diagonal curved OLED digital display that's split into three sections. Here on the right in the infotainment section, I can actually, it's a touch screen, so I can control up to six parameters. I love this because it's basically puts me in control, I feel, of everything about this vehicle. The steering, tour or sport, suspension, tour or sport, engine, snow and ice. And if I actually click OK, it will remember it and kind of leave me in that mode. Uh, tour, I'll leave it in sport. All wheel drive system, how that behaves, I'll leave it in sport. Brake feel is also adjustable. And sound system for the engine itself, um, yeah, I, I like loud. I really wanna make sure I do this right. I'm stomping on the brake pedal, I'm gonna use launch control mode. I'm gonna stomp on the accelerator. There it is, 5.4. That felt better. Oh, it crackles and pops. <laughs> By the way, 5.4 seconds. Um, I've recently tested a uh, supercharged V8 Ford Raptor conversion at about 5.1-ish. Uh, we have our Ram TRX uh, that we've tested at about 4.5 seconds. So this SUV that weighs nearly 6,500 pounds, about 6,450, uh, is approaching those numbers. <laughs> but the sound it makes, it's just giggle worthy. styling perspective on the exterior, the V version of the Escalade looks kind of similar to a regular Escalade. It's subtle changes up front, subtle changes in the back, but also a unique wheel. This is a 22 inch wheel, proper because it is a luxurious SUV. And the tire is interesting. I thought initially going into this that Cadillac and GM will pick a different tire, maybe a summer tire. Uh, for this vehicle and maybe have an optional all season. But no, they stayed with Bridgestone tire uh, that's on other Escalades as well. And they tell me, the engineering team there tells me that this tire can do everything well. And when you're going fast, you also need to stop eventually. And the new brake system is here to help you. Uh, up front here, six piston Brembo brakes, a very large, should be very, very capable. Of course, I'm not at the racetrack, so I don't know exactly how this behaves when pushed to its limit, but daily driving this, great pedal feel. Now, the suspension is another important part of this, and it's air springs, so it's height adjustable air ride system. The rear spring on the V Escalade is a little bit stiffer, and engineering team at Cadillac tells me that's because they want to prevent some of that squat when you're launching this vehicle. There's a lot of power going through it. 
and it's all-wheel drive all the time. You can put up to about 70% of power to the rear axle and 30% to the front. The front is always getting some amount of torque. Um, and of course, Magnetic Ride 4.0 is fully active, live adjustable shocks that are always working behind the scenes to give you the best. Alrighty, so now it's time to do some spirited driving. <laughs> that should not be possible. How is that possible? The interior of this SUV and the way it sounds and drives, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, the suspension is relatively compliant. I think it's because the Escalade is just about that. It has to be above all a comfortable vehicle to drive. But now, in the sports suspension mode, especially in V mode, um, it lowers about 0.8 of an inch. And they say, the engineers are telling me that it should keep me a little bit more level through a turn. There's a little bit of squeal from tires, but the roll is well controlled. By the way, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Don't tell anybody. Uh, the top speed on the new Escalade V is 124 miles per hour. I'm not gonna try it today because I'm on streets, but 124 miles per hour is quicker than most other big pickup trucks and performance SUVs. So yeah, uh, the tires support it, the vehicle supports it. Uh, that's pretty nice. I think the beauty and the secret behind the Cadillac Escalade, and especially this V edition of it, is that it's sheer size and utility. Uh, as you can tell here, this is the long wheelbase version. I can keep walking and walking and walking on the side of it. It's basically suburban wheelbase. And it's also available in shorter wheelbase if you don't need all this space for cargo. There are other vehicles that can compete with this uh, in the pretty rarefied air of $153,000 starting price that may be a little bit quicker than this. But I don't think any of them will match the sheer cargo volume and also stability and also towing. This is a cool feature. Push this, the door opens. Why can't every SUV do that? But here's what I'm talking about. Actually, the suspension, the air suspension is lifted a bit, uh, but um, it's still a relatively low load level. So if you lower it all the way down, and you can see these carry-on bags that we have here. I mean, you can keep stacking and stacking and stacking and still three rows of seats are available. I mean, this is the strength of, of course, a long wheels base Escalade because it's luxurious, nice, but also utilitarian. Let me show you the hitch. I mentioned towing. So of course, this unique Escalade V rear fascia is here. Uh, and the hitch should be hiding behind this. Let me open this up, it's pretty easy. Two inch receiver, seven pin connector, four pin connector. There's also a trailer brake controller inside, but maximum towing capacity is 7,000 pounds. Yes, it's okay. You can bring your race car to the track. You can tow your boat, but I was hoping for a little bit more. I mean, this needs to do everything. Uh, 7,000 pounds, and okay. This new V comes with its own red color-coded key. I think it's pretty cool. And of course, you also have some other options. You can remote start it, of course, lock and alarm, but also pop your rear glass. And one cool feature is that the windshield wiper actually stays with the vehicle. The glass pops open and I still have my access here to the cargo area. So if I have my groceries here or something else, 
I can reach in down here and grab it. This long wheelbase of the V has a 28 gallon fuel tank. Premium fuel is required. If you're buying a shorter wheelbase version of this, 24 gallon tank is there. Uh, 91 octane or above because it's a premium engine, premium fuel is required. If you wanna know fuel efficiency, well, you know what they say. If you have to ask, you probably can't afford it. The interior of the V Escalade is based on their Platinum series, which is to say it's their top of the line. You've got the greatest, softest leather, uh, really well done as far as design, I think. Massaging heated and ventilated seats. And the massaging feature is nice because it also makes the cushion that much softer. Um, so I think it's one of the best GM seats and trucks. And then, on the center console here at hand, there's a volume knob that controls a 36 speaker. Yes, 36. Some speakers here, some speakers here, some speakers here in the dashboard, some speakers in the A pillars. AKG system right there. And also, here's your main infotainment system control. But if you notice, there's nowhere here on the dash or on the console where you can control the all wheel drive system. It works behind the scenes and there's also no low range transfer case like in some other SUVs and trucks. Um, so this is a more premium system set up for kind of all surface driving, but not rock crawling. Of course you have various exterior colors, interior color combinations, and this zebra wood, I just love that name. Um, and it actually looks awesome, I think. It's cool. The final EPA fuel efficiency ratings are not available at this time. But as you can see here on my screen, 13 MPG is kind of real world driving when you're hitting the loud pedal a few times. So yes, you can make it a little bit more efficient by cruising on the highway. Uh, but I think this number combined, which is by the way, similar to a Ram TRX, I think that's realistic. This Cadillac is also equipped with augmented reality, especially in navigation mode. It will show you directions and also night vision, but it has to be night in order for me to demonstrate night vision to you. But you may have seen other videos on TFL Truck and TFL Now that have this. Also heads up displays up there. And um, also Super Cruise, I can show you how that works. I'm wearing my sunglasses because I want to demonstrate something. I'm getting on the highway, which is the 101 here near Phoenix. And I want to show you Super Cruise. And it's a semi-autonomous system, so the driver still has to be engaged. And technically, well, some of you have asked, well, what if I'm wearing glasses or sunglasses, and um, will the truck still monitor me and be able to engage the system? Well, let's find out. Let me merge on the highway and see how it works. You see this on the steering wheel? Super Cruise is now enabled. And here's the beautiful part about this. About 200,000 miles in North America, including US and Canada, are pre-mapped. It's using high definition mapping, but it requires the driver to still be engaged. So let me set my cruise control speed appropriately. And the Super Cruise system is available with trailer towing up to 7,000 pounds, which is the rating of this Escalade V. And it has automatic lane change. So if it determines well, I can ask it to, like this, change his lane. Or if there's a slower vehicle in front of me that's going slower than the preset speed limit, it will change lane safely around it. So it has lane change and towing and pre-mapped hands-free driver assistance driving. Um, and it works with sunglasses. But if I look away for a long period of time, it should understand that and it should start to vibrate my seat, give alarms. Oh, this is pretty scary. Uh, I don't know. Let me cover the sensor. See right now it started blinking. It says no, disengaging because it couldn't monitor my face and it said couldn't see my face. And then all of a sudden it re-engaged again. I opened up the sensor that's right here watching my face and now I can lean back and it will cruise me down the highway.
very few vehicles have this much space. Maybe the other competitor here on interior volume and comfort is the new Jeep Grand Wagoneer L. But here my seat is reclinable. It's, um, I can slide it forward, I can slide it back. I can recline it down, I can lay down, I can watch my TV. And then I can also do this. I'm just over 6'2", and I can sit. Look at this, I have some headroom, some knee room right here. What else can you ask for from an SUV? So please let me know in the comments below, is this your dream SUV or would you go for something different if you had $153,000 or more? Uh, my verdict is this, I love this Cadillac V. It has uh, the luxury that I would expect. It has the experience that's just smile worthy. <laughs> Every time I get in it, I just begin to smile when I hear that engine. But I think it, I mean, just from today's testing, it could be just a little bit snappier off the line, a little bit quicker. I know it's huge, but I really wanted to see that four and a half second zero to 60. I did not see that. And as always, remember, check out alltfl.com for everything automotive from TFL, one-stop shop for all of our information from eight channels, four websites, and two podcasts. I'll see you on the next one.